Hello and welcome back to Let's Play King's Blood with me, Bring It Down. Let's claim our rewards from over here. 85 herbs for maxing out the faction. And 85 herbs for maxing out the city. Okay, we only have a handful of quests to choose. Let's do Goldstead. Sabotaging the Enemy Part 2. I heard someone sabotage one of Rivrum's ore mines. What a courageous thing to do. There may be more opportunities for anyone interested in disrupting Rivrum's army. There are reports of a small squadron securing a lumber mill south of Rivrum's gates. Wouldn't it be a pity if this lumber mill burned down? Okay, only a few ranged enemies. Those are the only four recommended. Bring another fighter. Another archer. A healer. Another support. Another assassin. That should do. I'll give that to Hodor. Give that to Puck. Alright, send them on their way. Oh, we also have level ups to take care of. Boris has one point. Attack damage. Hilda. Health. Falkmar. Health regen. Bosch. With attack damage. Nagra. Focus regen. Potosius. Focus regen. Ori. Yes, crit chance. Well, actually, the magic resist probably would have been better. Or the armor. Fuck. Focus regen. Keep misclicking there. Well, looks like that's everybody. Alright, and I guess we'll do a quest for Gastria. The Legend of Emrys the Black. The Legend of Emrys the Black. A huge black dragon that patrols the local mountains at night and can be heard roaring. Hardly anyone has seen him, but recently, large numbers of our sheep have been devoured. The dragon seems to react to the flickering of the barrier. Maybe it feels threatened because dragons are suspected to possess a powerful soul. The mayor of Gastria is afraid of an attack. Maybe we can learn more about it by climbing further up into the Black Sickle. Oh, it's see. The explorer wants to start an expedition to search for Emrys' lair and to study the beast. Can you protect his caravan from the wild animals? Bring most of our shifters, some fighters. 
I look like all the wolves are assassins. So I'll just bring a bunch of tanky characters and have them line up in the back. And one mage. His attack speed. <laughs> right, Orlish actually went down. That's a little surprising. Average just needs stun rate and life leech, and I think he'll be okay. <laughs> he attacks so darn fast. And not as smooth as I was expecting. But it could have been worse. Alright, I like the bow the most. Attack uh, damage plus 50, focus damage plus 8, and attack speed plus 9. I think that's the highest attack speed bonus we've seen. Alright, a couple of red items. Let me go with the uh, bow and give that to Average, I think. This one seems pretty good too. In fact, that might be really good on Orlish. But I think that's more important. So, Average. Congratulations. That's a tough call. It's only 1% stun rate. I think we can afford to get rid of that. Make her a little stronger. Alright, what do we get up here? An item? 2% stun rate. And a companion. Oh, so it's you. 
You've become quite famous around the streets of Gastria. The people praise you. The criminals are getting nervous. Listen, I should probably be afraid of you as well. I have not been the nicest person throughout my life, but I am not afraid. I know that we have a common goal. I know some of you hate these river run scums as much as I do. So let's work together and start the rebellion this kingdom needs. Oh, she's an archer. I was gonna guess she was an assassin. All right, Lex. She's a halfling, archer, and light. Fugitive, rebel, and necrophobia. Gastria, the most influential free city in Arthania, and a good place to make some quick bucks. Lex used to be a bandit committing minor crimes like theft and burglary during her youth. One night a group of her from Riverum appeared in the city. They seemed to have enjoyed too much of Gastria's wine. As they lay down for rest, the young kids along Lex broke into their chambers to empty the drunk's pockets. Lex was waiting outside. Her friends never returned. As it turned out, both Jalosh and Garrick had been caught and decapitated on the spot. Mordius, the name of the culprit. Since then, Lex holds a deep grudge against Riverum forces, and offers her work as a mercenary not only for the money, but also for training her skills for the day she gets her revenge. Despite this dramatic event while growing up, she has manifested an impressive self-esteem and won't shut her loud and often rude mouth, even when facing opponents double her size. But she doesn't have the, um, trait for that. And shrapnel. Lex aims for the weak spot and inflicts 64 physical damage on hit, and additionally bleeding, 28 magical damage over 2 seconds. She scales with both AD and AP. That's good. So we grab attack speed, attack speed, attack damage, ability power, attack damage, attack damage, crit damage, ability power, attack speed, attack damage, focus regen, attack damage, crit chance, attack damage, ability power, crit damage, Crit chance, and then we'll go towards the ability power over there. So health for now. Uh, we should have some equipment for her right off the bat. Some attack damage, crit rate, attack speed, and stun rate. Or stun rate. Good fit. Yeah, that should do for now. Okay, uh, some more quests. Let's do one for Gara Rock. Kashgore. Or clans have old tradition. Kashgore it is called. Small groups fight each other in advance in Kashgore tournament. He thinks the brothers of Burrish Bonebreaker win again. If you want, I'll let you enter tournament. 16 teams, only one winner. Alright. We'll bring a couple of mages. Couple of support characters. Uh, I guess another mage. Why not? All right, we need a front line. Garnak is not recommended. Bring Boris instead, along with Rayo, I suppose. What else do I need? You bring another mage. Yeah, let's go ahead and bring Pori. No summoners means I can bring revive ally without concern and a bunch of AP heavy characters. I bring big heals on my main characters or my front lines and my main character. All right, we'll see how they handle that. And we can do one for Uratok. Ogres in our streets. Help. The ogres are planning to retaliate. They are trying to invade us. Please help us. As we speak, the first of these giant creatures has already been spotted in our streets. Where are the king's troops when you need them? Riverham has abandoned us. Please. We don't have much to offer, but you must protect us. Uh, so it looks like all, well, almost all melee. There's one shaman in there. I 
bring all of our archers on this one. Except for Lex, she's not recommended. But a couple of shapeshifters, along with a couple of fighters. No healer, though. We have an odd amount of archers, so we'll get rid of one of them. Well, she's recommended. Kick Magnus out. He doesn't need the experience anyway. Just gonna try and burn through these things because they're not. I don't think they're very useful. Alright, send them on their way. Focus regen for Falkmar. Holdor. Ability power. I don't know how useful that actually is. I feel like you don't really feel the resistances, but I guess if we didn't have them, we'd feel them even more. Alright, Orlish. You have all the ability power and defensive nodes, right? Except for that one. Alright, more ability power. Yasmir. This feel a little weird giving the shapeshifters ability power because... Well, I guess it's the same for the mages. It's not relevant until they cast their ability. Alright, I guess, um... Attack damage for Yasmir. Let's see how they do. Hang in there, guys. Dual shifts. I got his health back. Karnak is doing fine. Okay, uh, we'll bring the or grab the red item. Armor plus 32, max health plus 152, magic resist plus 17, and initial shield plus I don't think I had to use all those resources, but our stash is so full, I don't think there's any harm in it. A more focus regen. I'm going to go with the hammer, though. Attack damage plus 37, focus damage plus 4, life leech plus 2%, and stun rate plus 3%. That might be worth it on Abrash. It's not good. Krill impressed. Krill won. Join and fight with you in Kashgar. Okay, Krill. Wait a minute. You want to join us to fight in this Orcish tournament? 
Yes! I see. That is a bit surprising. But fighting in this tournament is not our main objective. Krill not care. Fighting in Kashgore is Krill main objective. Orcs join clan for life. Orc loyal. Krill join Purple Eye Guy clan forever if Guy promised to take Krill to next Kashgore battle. All right. Come with us and prove that you're a great warrior, and we might take you to the next Koshgore battle. Alright. Was it Assassin? So it is decided. War is coming. It is, but we are prepared. I know. Still, I am worried. What if anything goes wrong? It won't. There's no one who can outbid us. Not even the dwarves. The Gorian Riders are on our side, but we have to be quiet about it. No one needs to know. Rivram will be shocked when they stand in front of our doors. Then the trap will snap. Our spy network did a great job. Let's hope for the best. Okay. Do these level ups real quick. Abrash gets focus regen. He's now max level. Krill. He's an orc, assassin, fire, sunbather, hunter, and dazzler. Yeah, this is the one I was talking about earlier. The prize Lex isn't a dazzler. Being a champion, a dream engraved in Krill's thinking since he has witnessed the Rust Boys totally demolishing the Smelly Stinkers in the finals of Koshgore two decades ago. So young but mature enough to crush skulls and break bones, he feels ready now to become an orcish legend. Anyone who helps him achieve this goal is considered a friend. Anyone joining him in Koshgore's family. Ability is Smash. Krill slams the ground around him dealing 72 physical damage to all surrounding enemies, as well as stunning them for one second each. He only scales with AD. Oh good, that's straightforward. Attack speed, attack damage, attack speed, attack speed. Crit chance, attack damage, crit chance, critical damage. I will grab health here, magic resist, crit damage, armor, attack damage. Evasion rate. Then here we have to select AP. We'll grab it on this side and grab the uh, crit chance and focus regen and some health. And as an assassin, he does need offensive equipment. Uh, the hammer that we just got I think would be best on Abrash, right? Because this one does gives him ability power, which is fine. Focus regen, focus damage, and attack speed. Life leech, stun rate, focus damage. Yeah, let's go with that one instead. I think Krill can have this one. And we have to have another offensive item. Oh, uh, there's attack speed. I'll grab the blue one, so that I know it has to be upgraded at some point. Also, let's go ahead and buy and sell stuff. There's a bow here. Uh, let's get rid of all... I feel like these might come in handy later. Um, I might sell some of the revive allies here. Also, these... Actually, these might be best on Lyrica. As a melee healer, he has a ton of AP. I think he'd benefit from using those instead of um, the AoE spells I've been giving him. And these are hard to use because, again, if you have a summoner with you, you're more than likely going to resurrect a summon. So I'll get rid of most of them at least. All right, have more than I thought. Got these trap disarm kits because I keep forgetting about them. I have to craft more stuff anyway, so safely sell it. All right, then over here we'll get rid of anything that's not purple, red, or legendary. I think we're at that point now.
All right, we buy this. Attack damage plus 77, life leech plus or 5%, and critical damage plus 97%. We still have enough for another red item. Just not there. Oh, not quite, but we can sell some stuff for something here. So ability power, focus damage, magic resist, ability power, health regen, and focus regen. I think that's the way to go. Health regen, attack evasion, and movement speed. I just don't care for the movement speed. So this isn't that great. Oh, we have another blue item. We'll grab that. All right, what does Lyrica have? No reds yet, so he would benefit from this. It's basically the same thing, but without the magic resist, and of course the stats are better. I could be oh it's just a, okay. That's awful. Life leech. I might give this to Fenya. I do think she needs the focus regen. So we'll do it like that. And then armor, max health, magic resist, and initial shield. Maybe Boris? A ton of health regen already. I don't like what she has, but let's go do that. That should make her a little tankier. And maybe not yet. He has offensive. So. I don't think I'll change that yet. Oh, maybe Holdor. Yeah, it's a little similar. He loses the focus regen and gains magic resistance instead. I do use him as like a pseudo tank, so maybe that's the better course of action. Focus regen on him might be worth it. Items smell good. Okay. We'll see how that plays out. Alright, got an item for the his faction. Critical rate plus 33% and armor plus 23. Probably end up selling that. Herbs from down here. And Arcanium from here. But not at a thousand yet. Alright, let's go ahead and craft some stuff. Let's do the next quest for Gastria. Legend of Emrys the Black 2. You did well in defending Oetze's excursion. I'm saying that right. I heard you even saw the beast flying over your heads. As soon as you returned, Oetze ran into his chamber and scribbled down a few possible locations for the dragon's lair. With a little more research and a few more field trips, he said. And we might be able to locate the right area. Unfortunately, you're not the only one who saw the dragon. I burned down a cottage. This behavior is really strange. Emrys has never been that hostile before. Once again, Oetze needs a protection for his second trip. Will you be with him? Uh, what are we up against? Two ambushers, ranged, and that's it. No, well, they have one front line. So I'll bring Garnak, uh, Serena. Actually, let's bring uh, Shapeshifters instead. 
So Fenya and Abrash, they'll take on the assassins. Recommended, he's recommended. So there's our fighter front line. Uh, we need another archer, ideally one that's not max level yet. Uh, healer. Bring another support with Millie. And Bodo. Alright, increased ability power. Arasha all day. Armor. Garnak. Attack damage. Let's give that to Rayo. So we've seen at least one quest where he was required. We may as well give him some more stats. He might be capped out. Might not be worth giving him more elixirs right now. Alright, at least one dragon's breath. Sell these two. I right, spray the weak healing potions. I'm gonna burn through these. I think we'll be fine either way once Garnet gets his uh, taunt off. Send them on their way. I'm gonna save the uh, full dungeons for when I have both healers available. So they've moved out. They're now attacking up there. I don't know if they're eventually going to take over those locations or not. They're also moving out this way. Can I save this place? Let's do lazy soldiers. These dwarf scum call themselves soldiers. How dare they? They do nothing but drink and smoke all day. We need to, dis to discipline these fools. Captain Warlocks came to the town hall to recruit some thugs like you to beat some sense into our boys. Alright, so they have some ranged... And a decent front line with three of them. Ah, my hometown of Alish. People still are getting treated like crap. I missed it. Okay, let's get a front line. Serena and. Another f oh, here we go. Boris. Oh, we're bringing a bunch of assassins. Two of them are recommended anyway. Stock up on four. Not recommend. A healer. A couple of archers and who needs the experience? Oh, Holdor. It's his uh, hometown. That said. I'll bring one of these. Okay, a few level ups to deal with. Hilda. More health. Ignis. Attack damage. Millie. Attack damage. Rayo. Magic resist. Also, what is his stuff at? His armor's at 44. Magic resist is at 34. Okay, so definitely not maxed out. Current reduction is only 30.6% for armor or physical damage and 25.4% for magic resist. I think it gets increased here when he uses his taunt, but. It's glad to see he's not maxed out. And then Serena. More attack damage. Uh, 
All right, not too shabby. Our archers are still standing at least. I don't know for how much longer. She has to get pretty close. Or it's possible that because he's behind that stall, she had to reposition for a better angle. She's too experienced for max level. How disappointing. Uh, this seems pretty good. I give that to Serena. Magic resist plus 27, focus regen plus 2 per second, attack evasion plus 5%, and attack damage plus 34. She scales with attack damage and ability power. Her ability takes forever to generate. Her focus cost is insane. I have a couple of assassins, so I'm going to put Rayo, Abrash, and Fenya back here. Garnak went down, surprisingly. <laughs> oh, can we do it? I don't know if we have enough healing to power through this or not. We might. Hey, we did it! <laughs> By the skin of her teeth. Alright, Hilda's now max level. The Garnet got melted there. Right, let's go with the uh, sword, I guess. Attack damage plus 49, stun rate plus 3%, and critical rate plus 35%. Yeah, so Missileheim is under attack. I'm not sure if we're... We can prevent that or not. This says find the right moment to strike. I guess we'll figure that out as we go. So maybe once it's burning, it means that the forces are there and we can attack it. Can't attack their armies directly. It's burning, but I mean, we can still get a quest there, so I'm, I'm not sure. We'll figure it out. I don't want to miss out on anything because the city got destroyed because I wasn't sure how to stop it. <laughs> but we'll see. Either way, for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.